Hey, what's up my construction entrepreneurs? Hey, on this video, I'm gonna show you a little trick um, that will save you some time and save you some money to where you don't have to print out plans anymore, okay? I usually do my takeoffs straight from uh, Adobe, all right? You just save your, uh, your, uh, your plan sheets as a PDF. You can upload a mass amount of plan sheets, so you can just upload one depending on how would they how, how they were delivered to you okay but you save them and then you open open them up in Adobe Acrobat Reader and what you normally do here is now we know that anytime you're doing a takeoff the first thing you do remember this the first thing you do is verify the scale okay it doesn't matter what you always verify the scale okay so we want to verify the scale on this so we actually have to see what the scale is and here i have the scale here i actually have it marked out at five feet right because i got one inch equals five feet so i actually got it marked out here i actually got everything actually laid out here to show you things pretty quickly but let's go ahead and see I'll uh, show you how to get this done here. And you can measure anything you want. You can measure doors, walls. Um, uh, of course, you'll have the height of the wall within your plans. You just measure the linear footage. And with this tool here, you can measure um, uh, several different things with this tool, right? It allows you to measure, um, it allows you to do a linear footage, a distance tool, right? Where you can do the linear footage management. It allows you to do a perimeter measurement around the, uh, the entire building or area that you want. It allows you to do a square footage me measurement, okay? So here, what we want to do here is uh, once we select the measuring tool, there's also a place here on the side just behind this photo here that allows you to select measurement types, okay? We're going to leave that there. Then once we have that selected, we right click, select to change scale ratio. And then what we want to do here is we know is one inch equals five feet. Um, you'll notice here if you enter in a 0 0.01, you'll get slightly off a little bit. So let's see here. So we want to verify that our measurement is correct. See how we're, we're on that a little bit? comes out, oh, I'm, I'm a little crooked there, huh? So you can easily delete that, start with a new one here. Okay, let's go ahead and delete that one. That one's in our way, okay? And uh, I be, I'm trying to get right on. So looks like uh, I'm, I'm just a little bit off there, you know? So what you wanna do here, looks like uh, uh, 0.16, also, what you want to do here is you want to change the ratio on that. So you want to click there, click up, uh, and the ratio usually work, work for me is uh, 0 0.1. Usually gets me right on. So let's go ahead and delete this here. And we want to click here and click, looks like here. I'm a little crooked there. Let's make that look a little bit better. And as you get to doing this, uh, okay, we're going to leave it at that there, okay? So anyway, so you have that tool there. You see that, hey, that precision, uh, that uh, a 0 0.1 works for this scale here. You have actually taken that measurement there, um, and that's where you have that locked in, okay? Now you can start doing your takeoffs because you always want to verify your scale and make sure it's correct, okay? Then you can start doing your takeoffs, okay? Now we want to do the takeoffs for here. We want to select our, um, our area tool, okay? And we want to measure this thing out here. You see, I'm a little, I'm a little shaky today. I don't know what's going on with that. But we got that there, right? We got that and we can actually move that over, okay? We can actually play with that if we if we wanted to, okay? <laughs> and then you can change the um, 
the title of it as well. Uh, you can uh, um, uh, definitely uh, delete it, get rid of it, you know, go at it again, another area. So I'm just showing you something that you can, you know, because I remember back in the day before I was comfortable at bidding on, um, on a computer, I actually um, used to print out all my plans. And when I print them out, I got all these colored pencils and pens and markers and pencils. And, and I need a whole plotter table, which I still have a plotter table, but I need a whole plotter table because I just wasn't comfortable with, with doing my takeoffs on my laptop, right? I needed something larger. I needed to see it. Well, I've gotten comfortable for that. You should also work toward that if you're not comfortable bitten on the computer or bitten on a large screen, your TV screen, where you can actually project it there. You need to get to that point for 2019. Get to doing your takeoffs on the computer. If you can't afford an estimated system that allows you to upload plans and do a takeoff on, then use the PDF, use Adobe. It's here, it's free. And it'll save you a whole lot of time and money. You got any questions about this? Leave the comments below. Okay, if you feel like I missed something, or was it clear on something, let me know, leave a, leave a comment down below or send us an email or give us a call. We'll love to hear from you. But I'll let you go with that, my construction entrepreneurs. Uh, remember, hustle hard, then hustle harder. Make sure you subscribe.